Going through 10 years of minor league ball, going through surgeries and injuries, uh, you just have to keep on uh, keep on battling. And I just I just never wanted to, wanted to stop playing. And uh, I always saw being a big leaguer as something I wanted to do as a dream. And uh, I never stopped until I got here. Although Jim Henderson didn't start this season as the Brewers' closer, he certainly established himself in that role in 2013. Henderson converted 28 of 32 save opportunities. Perhaps because he sets his goals on a daily basis, he's able to put failed opportunities behind him. Some people go year to year, some people go month to month, some people go day to day. Um, I like to go just day to day and just uh, you know focus on the next day. Um, you know, you have a bad day one day, you can just wake up and start over the next day. Off the field, Henderson has helped the ALS Association Wisconsin chapter, appearing at this Chase and a Cure tailgate party last summer. Another such event is planned this July. Henderson's father died from ALS when Jim was 13 years old, so playing a lot of baseball turned out to be a way of coping. Very right on that age, I, uh, we started a uh, travel team, baseball team, and and uh, just a good timing, like I, I started taking baseball seriously and playing 100 games a year at, at age 13, 14 as a Canadian kid. So, you know, you know that was a distraction, but then when you get to go on the field and, and do what you love, uh, you know, it takes your mind off things. Henderson credits the man who put that travel team together with providing him the chance to reach the pros. His desire and love for baseball, you know, he didn't have to do it. He was like a big corporate lawyer. He, he, didn't, need, he didn't need to, you know, step outside his, you know, his, his hard work and everything he's accomplished in life, but he did, and he kind of he kind of gave us a lot of opportunities as kids growing up. So uh, his name is John Eric Candia uh, back in Calgary. So. It was July of 2012 when Henderson finally made his Major League debut, fulfilling a promise he had spelled out for himself. The offseason before I got called up, I kind of just uh, wrote this year on my, uh, you know, wrote out, put on my wall in my bedroom so that when I went out the door every day, I just remind myself that when I went to workouts or whatever, that this is, you know, this is the year I'm gonna, you know, put it all together. Considering everything he's been through, if anyone should know what it takes to be a pro, it's Jim Henderson. It's coming to the to the field every day, and when a coach isn't looking or a teacher isn't looking, you're still working hard. You're doing the same thing you would do if somebody's kind of looking over your shoulder. So that's that's what I would say is a, is a professional.